Hello and welcome to the Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium here at Ottawa Glendorf High School for tonight's matchup between the Shawnee Indians and the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Scott Mag. And Scott, the Titans come into tonight's matchup undefeated in conference play, but you know the Indians would love nothing more than give them that first loss. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure they're, they had this one circled on their schedule, and I know last year didn't work out so well for the Indians, so I'm sure they're looking for a little bit of revenge tonight. You know, let's take a look at tonight's keys to the game to see what the Indians and the Titans need to do to come away with that victory. Yeah, absolutely. First off, we're going to limit shots for shooters. Both teams have guys that can fill them up if they left open. So I'm sure both coaches have talked all week. You cannot let shooters catch the ball and have a clean look at the basket. So I'm sure both teams are going to defense to make to take away shooters. Second, live ball turnovers. Both the Titans and Shawnee like to play defense and get turnovers. And what happens on those turnovers, they lead to easy baskets as well as transition threes. They want to get their shooters open so they want to get live ball turnovers to keep it going. And last is finish. That's finish at the rim, finish a quarter, finish a half, finish a game. Whoever finishes the most is going to come away victorious tonight. We have a jam-packed Supreme Court tonight for this one. Don't go anywhere. When we return, we'll have the starters and opening tip right here on WOSN. Welcome back to the Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium here at Ottawa Glendorf High School, the Supreme Court. Tonight's starters have been introduced. We'll take a look at the starters, starting first for the Shawnee Indians. They are going to start number 10, Keegan Wilson, number 4, Dominic Lynch, number 23, Beckett Berkey, number 0, Will McBride, and number 5, Toby Freiberger. For the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, they're going to start number 22, Colin White, number 11, Theo Mag, number 24, Caden Nerford, number 3, Grant Schroeder, and number 21, Hunter Steckscholdy. We are just about underway. This rivalry, as you take a look, Mark Triplett and Shawnee having a little bit of a down year as Ottawa Glendorf, as we mentioned, undefeated um, in conference play, number five in the state, and they are going to control the opening tip-off. So Ottawa Glendorf quickly trying to get it down on the inside. They're going to have a little bit of a size advantage tonight, trying to use that early, but can't get that one to go. Shawnee with the rebound. Yeah, Mag went aggressive. It just didn't finish down there. We talked about that in pregame. Got to finish. Will McBride brought it up for Shawnee. Now the offense is going to get set. McBride came through, got it on the right wing, and ends up in the hands of Austin Miller. Miller, he's going to drive right hand off the glass for two. Yeah, Miller, he, he's, uh, he, he poses a, a big problem for the Titans. One is he can shoot it from deep. He can also put it on the floor, as you can see right here, and goes right around the defender. And he's got great body control and can finish at the rim. So he's, he's going to be a handful for the Titans tonight. Here's Erford looking to get rid of it, drops it down low to Mag. Mag, back in Berkey down low. The freshman trying to play good defense. Miller came over for the help, able to get his hand on it as the Titans have to reset. Driving the kick, Mag looking for some space, surrounded by three different red jerseys. And I believe it's going to be Dominic Lynch that gets the whistle. Yeah, I believe there was three guys, I think, number 40, yep, Lynch. Yep. That'll be his first, team's first, as Otto Glandorf takes it out of bounds. Colin White, his first shot of the night. That one's going to be short. Well, good job by Hunter Stexley to read that outlet pass. White into the paint, lost it, has to get rid of it. Here goes Erford with the drive, the floater in the lane. That one rattles down. Out of Glandorf on the board with their first basket. And kind of the live ball turnover as we talked about in the pregame. That live ball turnover, and Stexley got in, and they got an easy basket. And then compounded, they throw the ball out of bounds. Turnover number two for the Indians. So Shawnee having some trouble early with that full court press that Iowa Glendorf will play for the vast majority of tonight's game. They're going to have to find a way to adjust. Mag's going to drive. The help defense comes over, cuts him off. Colin White, three-point shot. That one short as Berkey comes up with the rebound. Here comes McBride. Picked up his dribble, spun around into the lane, and he's going to end up getting fouled as Hunter Steckscholdy will get whistled for his first as McBride will take a trip to the free throw line. It was a good job by Stetchley. He did a good job of stopping the penetration, and then McBride was, you know, did a great job himself of pivoting back and forth, and, and Stetchley just kind of reached in there and whacked his arm and got a foul called on himself. Will McBride not able to connect with the first shot as it rattled about halfway down and then came right back out. Second shot is up and good. Shawnee with the one-point lead here in the early going. They're on top, three to two. 
Steck Schulte hands it off to White. Here's Erford. Mag now, is he working against Berkey? As Berkey hit the deck and Mag was kind of anticipating having a body there to lean on. They both went down and one more time, Ottawa Glandorf was able to get their hands on that basketball. Knocks it out of bounds, but it will stay with the Indians. Coach McLaughlin is kind of wondering why nothing was called. That should have been something. Both guys falling down. Might have been, should have maybe even been a travel. Will McBride works against White, gets it into the hands of Berkey. The freshman gets the entry pass. He gets that one off the glass. As Beckett Berkey is having a nice year as a freshman, was inserted to the starting lineup pretty early on, and he is obviously time and time again proved that he belongs there. And now we're going to have offensive foul. Offensive foul. foul. Matt kind of stuck his hip out there a little bit. We'll let White to get around. You can kind of see it here on the replay. Mag's out there and kind of stuck his hip a little bit, and the field, uh, the official didn't like it and called a foul. Two team fouls for the Titans. And here's where the Indians have struggled. Out of bounds underneath their own basket. It has not been easy to get that ball up into the front court. Dominic Lynch looking for somewhere to go. Gets it into Berkey. Quick pass to McBride. Bounce pass to Miller. Miller finishes off the glass. And that's what Shawnee is going to need to do. They're going to need to go quick passes, not let Ottawa Glandorf's defense get set. And, and you no, notice, Nate, they didn't dribble that up. They made three quick passes and got themselves a layup as the Titans turned the ball over. Pushed up ahead to Miller. And we are going to have a foul. This one's going to go on Colin White. Yep. He did not want the run out by Miller there. So cause the foul. Shawnee will take this one out of bounds. It seems like the Titans just been a kind of a half step slow so far tonight. They got three fouls committed to one for the Indians, and they're just kind of, you know, half step slow in that press, and they're giving up layups. Levi Underbrink has checked into the game for the Titans, as that's going to be a turnover on the Indians. Hunter Steck Schulte brings it up for OG as they find themselves down 7-2 here in the early going. Entry pass down low, another foul. This is going to be foul number two on Dominic Lynch. I had to imagine as it looks like we're going to have Keegan Wilson checking into the game for Shawnee as Dom will have to take a seat. Lynch kind of comes off. I don't know what I did. Trying to ask the coaches for an explanation. Here's Steck Schulte. Trying to work on the screen. Has to cut back around. White from the corner. Let's the three-pointer go. That one goes down. Big basket for Ottawa Glandorf as the offense just had not quite found the range yet. And that one gets him back within two. Miller all the way down. And they're going to call a late offensive foul call. Comes in against Austin Miller. The basket will be no good and will go back to the Titans. Yeah, it's good job by Erfer to step up there and, and uh, take that one. It's a heck of a shot by Smith. To, or, uh, Miller to make that one there. Both teams now with three fouls. 4-14 left to go here in the opening quarter. White gets to the free throw line, has it poked away, ends up into the hands of the Titans, though. Steck Schulte has that one taken away by McBride. McBride behind the back, surrounded by Titans, has to kick it back out. Here's Berkey. He goes baseline. He's able to use the left hand to get it in. Now, what a heck of a move by a freshman to go right around. You know, that's, that's pretty impressive. Squared up and went right around him. Erford, he's going to let the three-point shot go. That one's off the front of the rim. Freiberger tracks down the rebound. Gets it ahead to Austin Miller. The Indians playing up-tempo basketball. Oh, wow. <laughs> going to give Miller, bailing him out there. He jumped up, had nothing to do, and kind of threw it up here. As you can see, there was three Titans there, and he just kind of jumped through it up and we'll call that one on Erford. Austin Miller kind of got the no-man's land there, yes, had nowhere did. to go with it, ends up on the ground. Going to make a trip to the free-throw line to shoot two. First free throw's no good. Austin Miller's the leading scorer for this Indians team. He's averaging right around 14 points a game.
Miller's second shot on its way, and it is good. Ten five three thirty left to go here in the first. Colin White brings it up for the Titans, working against Miller. Tries to get off to the right side, gets cut off, has to drop it back off. Here's Erford down into the corner, looking for somewhere to go with it. Mag does a nice job in that lane. Good spin move off the glass. That one's no good. Gets the rebound. Goes to the other side of the basket and gets it to go down. Uh, call foul here on uh, Levi Underbrink. Too much of a hands in there, I think. That is Levi's first foul of the night. Five for the Titans already in this first quarter. Just over halfway through. Austin Miller now with the basketball. Battle with Glendorf playing tight, man-to-man -man defense. Gets around Erford. Long pass to Freiberger. Thought about the three-pointer for a second. Nice drop nice off pass. down low to Berkey. As Beckett gets two more, he has six in the quarter. Ottawa Glandorf looking for an answer. Down low. Second on Erford. And we're going to have another offensive foul as Caden Erford picks up his second, team sixth. Take a look at the Charles River instant replay working down low, and good, there is. That's a good job by Berkey to sit there and take it. Oh, it's pretty tough for a freshman. I mean, I tell you, he, he understands the game. He just stood there and took it. And, you know, I don't know if he got hit that hard, but he sure sold it and he took it. And he was in the position and it, it made it look like a charge and the official called it. Getting things done offensively, getting it's things be second done. Second on uh, Underbrink as well. Defensively. And now Levi Underbrink trying to work against Keegan Wilson along that baseline. He's putting some pressure. Not a lot of contact, but enough for the official to blow the whistle. That's now going to – should be a one-and-one one situation. Yes, one-and-one one already, and we're still two and a half minutes left to go in this first quarter, and we're shooting one-and-one one already. Uh, the officials are calling this one a pretty tight game, and that's kind of not how the Titans won it, and I think it's in favor of the Indians right now. Keegan Wilson makes a trip to the free throw line. Shawnee is on top, 12-7. That one's no good. Berkey with the rebound. Berkey can't get the put back as White comes up with the rebound, brings it up for the Titans. He's going to drive, pulls up from the free throw line. That one's good. Colin White trying to keep his team in it. Now 12-9. Freiberger brings it up, has it taken away. Nice hands by Steck Schulte, gets it up to Mag. He has it swatted away from behind. But whistle's going to come, and I believe they're going to get Keegan Wilson on that foul. It's a good job by Hunter Stecks when he got a steal and he uh, got the ball ahead to Mag. Great hustle by Keegan Wilson to get back in the play. He was well behind that and he used his speed to catch up. Here's White one more time, hands it off to Steck Schulte as the Titans now moving around the perimeter, looking to get it on the inside. Austin Miller working against Mag, trying to deny. Steck Schulte drives, has to kick it back out. Shawnee playing good defense here. Mag trying to find a little bit of space, using that pivot foot, can't get free. Now it's going to be White's turn. You know, that's we're going to have a tie up. Good job by McBride. That's the second time he's been coming in from the backside. I don't know if we're going to replay this, but He's doing a heck of a job coming off the wing. If you can see it right here, White spins. He spins back and look at McBride right there and be there. That, that's great coaching. That is a kid that studied some film. He knows that White likes to spin back. He's right there to take it, and he goes and forces the jump ball. Possession arrow favored the Indians, so they get it, go out of bounds. Berkey works along the sideline, gets it into the front court. Long pass. They show that one's no good off the front of the rim. Minute 40 left to go here in the opening quarter. Shawnee, the three-point lead. Mag Pass off the glass on the inside as Ottawa Glandorf has done a nice job making a conscious effort to get the inside, get but the Indians do not wait. Yeah, good job. Pashoon gets down. It, he's like sprints out. That ball was made. He took off. One pass layup. That How demoralizing for the Titans. They scored, worked so hard, and then one pass layup on the other end. As White answers. And now the scoring's coming quick yeah, as White comes bunches. down. 
But if you're a Titan fan, you kind of like this pace. I don't know if Shawnee can keep this up. Uh, I think the first half of this quarter was in their favor as another live ball turnover here. Austin Miller got caught up in the air, had to get rid of it. Just kind of threw it down into the middle. That one's no good, but Mag right there for the putback, no good as Beckett Berkey was in a bad position, had really nothing to do other than just kind of throw his hands up and ends up getting called for the foul. Yeah, I tell you, it, Grant Schrader attacked the rim here. If you can see on this replay, Mag goes and gets it with that long arms, and he, he goes and tries to get it up and getting the next one. He's kind of upset with himself. He didn't get that off the backboard, but Berkey Mag might have had something to do with that one. Mag's first free throw. Circled around the rim, held on long enough, and went down. Theo Mag having a nice quarter. Ryan Ross checks in. And I think it uh, looks like Brad Mag at the scorer's table probably check in for Theo Mag here uh, if he puts this one in. Good move by the Titan, Titan coaching staff not to get these guys a second foul here. Second free throw, no good. McBride comes up with the rebound. Freiberger working against Steck Schulte. Pushes it up ahead down into the corner. Michonne gets rid of it. And now Freiberger's going to get the offense set. 30 seconds left to go. We'll see if the Indians try to hold or if they want to take just whatever the Titans will give them here. Freiberger, head fake, drive, kicks it into the corner. Three point shot on its way. That one's good. Ashone with his fifth point. He's come off the bench to give the Indians a lift as they're on top. 17-14 with three seconds left to go. Trying to get down low to Mag. Mag rattles that one in as the first quarter comes to a close. And the offenses came alive in the second half of the quarter. The Shawnee Indians, though, they hold the one-point lead. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, division of Alt's seamless spouting. Welcome back to the Supreme Court as we take a look at the Western Buckeye League standings. Anna Glandorf on top, 6-0. Defiance right there, though, 5-0. That senior-laden Defiance team, very good with St. Mary's behind them. And Shawnee down a little ways, having a little bit of a down year for what this program's been used to over the last five years. They've lost three in a row coming into tonight, but all hard-fought games, they were close. They took Lima Senior um, to the very end of that game. Also uh, played a very tight game with a good Van Wert team, and they would love nothing more to, to end that win streak or that losing streak here tonight and hand Ottawa to Landorf their first loss. Freiberger with the foul there, try to knock that one away from Sexually here. The sexually is kind of going through. Freiberger tried to get it from behind, sneaking behind and hit it. Got a little bit too much of the wrist and got a foul on him. Tell you, Shawnee, they, they play hard. They play hard. All five of them play hard. They play for each other. I love Freiberger. He gets in there. He gets guys shots. Titans got a tough task here tonight. Deck Shoulder tries to drive. Pichon. He cuts him off, playing good defense as the Indians have gone to a zone defense here. And Schrader, long pass over to Steck Schulte, down into the corner to Mag. One extra pass, Schrader, he's going to drive through the entire Shawnee defense, and he gets that one off the glass for two. You know, and Shawnee kind of were, you know, playing off those so-called guys that don't get all the publicity. As Grant Schrader's one of those. He plays defense, and he, he does the little things, and, they kind of just stayed away from him. And what a great job by him of catching the ball, squaring up and attacking and making them d defend you when they weren't. So that was a heck of a job by him. And that one's taken away. Theo Mag does a nice job and then has it poked away. As Freiberger get a little bit. Second. He gets a little too aggressive trying yeah. to go for that loose ball. He'll pick up his second foul. So now it looks like one and one again for the uh, Titans. So Theo Mag will be at the... Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw shots here for Theo Mag. Mag is making his second trip to the free throw line tonight. He was one for two in his first trip. And he gets that one to go. Ottawa Glandorf on top for the first time tonight, 1917. Mag lines up his second shot. 
on its way. And it is no good. Rebound down to the Indians. Keegan Wilson bringing the basketball up for Shawnee. Ooh, nice As that one poked Hunter. away. Steck Schulte with the great pick. He goes all the way in for two. Nice quick hands by Hunter Steck Schulte there. He just snuck his hands in there and got the ball away and one got it. That was a heck of a play by number 21. McBride. Nice move. McBride created a little bit of space and able to spin in the lane as he had an answer. Shawnee got it back within two. That shot's no good. Rebound comes down to Will McBride. He's on the floor, and we're going to have a timeout. 30-second timeout. Shawnee, they didn't want to lose the possession. 30-second timeout, Shawnee. Tonight's timeouts are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. You know, we mentioned that the pace of this play tonight, you know, especially in that first quarter, seemed to favor um, Ottawa Glandorf. And I think we see that here in the second quarter as they were able to erase that lead and take their first lead of the game. Yeah, and, and it really didn't start that way in favor of the Titans. It was kind of more Shawnee, you know, slow, methodical, you know, and, and you can kind of see it in how they play offensively. They shot fake. They pass fake. They pivot. They pivot and pivot, wanting you to, you know, kind of playing in – in the advantage of the Titans. Titans want to be aggressive and go at it. So they're kind of doing like they're playing into that and making the Titans be aggressive and jump past them and then they go behind them and score. And they've done a good job with that tonight. Keegan Wilson barely able to get that pass off. But Shawnee does maintain possession now as they're going to let the offense get set as McBride comes and gets the basketball. This Titan defense has been relentless all night long, but a three point shot on its way. Nick Pashone. Pashone has come in and he's hit a couple of big three-pointers. He has eight here in the half. And, and that's what they're going to need, a guy to come in and, and make some sh key shots for him. Now Schrader thought about going baseline, has to kick it back out, ends up into the hands of Steck Schulte as he's guarded by Wilson. Egan Wilson goes out to challenge near midcourt. Ottawa Glander is going to let the offense run through. White guarded by Miller. Long pass down into the corner. Steck shoulder shot. No good, but Mag with the rebound is. Yeah, it was just good job by Keegan Wilson. He was just kind of playing. He was he's kind of like the helper. He plays in the middle of the lane, leaves the guy open. As soon as it comes up, he ran hard and boxed out Theo Mag and as he turns the ball away, or for my count, tenth turnover by the Indians. Colin White left all alone at the top of the key. That one no good. Mag one more time, fights through contact. He gets that one up, and we're going to have another foul. This one is going to get called, I believe, on Will McBride. Yeah, they have no answer for Theo Mag down low. They just can't keep him out of the lane. He's been an offensive rebounding machine. They just got to get him off the block. Now, we mentioned the size advantage that Ottawa Glendorf would have over this Indians team, and we're seeing that here in this first half as they have just been dominant down low, especially on the offensive boards. Yes. Mag able to connect on his first free throw, tying this game up at 22. And, uh, Brad Mag comes in for Kay Nerford. Second shot is good. Otto Glandorf back on top, 23-22, 5-0-1 left to go in the first half. Ryberger gets it over to McBride now as Otto Glandorf backs off the pressure a little bit, and the Indians able to get it into the front court. Long pass as Miller was able to go up and get it. He's going to drive, kicks it back out. McBride, a little bit of a hesitation that time, gets it over to Berkey into the corner, and Beckett Berkey. Six points in the first quarter and a big three-pointer there. Yeah, he did a great job of getting out to the three-point line, getting his feet set. As Hunter Sexton gets to the rim. You know, we talked about in the first quarter, Shawnee not hesitating. That time it was Ottawa Glandorf quickly getting down on offense and getting an answer. Austin Miller, he's going to fire the three-pointer. That one's long. And we're going to have a foul as Toby Freiberger that time. A little bit of a push on Mag. And Toby Freiberger is going to pick up his third foul. Coach Triplett cannot yeah, believe it. He doesn't like that call. He, he, he's, he's kind of thinking that that was kind of a, a ticky-tack foul, you know I mean? He just he did kind of extend his arm a little bit, but I don't know if Mag even moved. But 
Well, we've seen the officials call yes. this one tight, and you know they've they've ran in whenever there've been tie-ups. And, yes, and you know these two teams, they are they are they're a little bit of a rival, especially over the last you know five six years. They've played some very good games. Very, they're both physical teams. They both like to get after it. You know, officials want to keep this one close. As you can see, a little bit. That was a pretty quick extension, as you saw in the Charles River instant replay. Yeah. Mag fighting down low gets that one to go back. Theo Mag having himself a night. 27-25. Oh, and they're. I think he just stepped through and fell. Now they're going to call a foul on Mag. As Austin Miller was just trying to get a little bit of space to pass that one yeah. down low. And it actually looked like Miller might have <laughs> yeah. initiated that contact. Miller did initiate the contact on that one. And but the official whistled yeah. it against and Ottawa Glandorf. And like you mentioned earlier, you know, you, 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 they've been consistent, right? They've. They've done it. They've called it close the first quarter. They called it the second quarter. If it was a, you know, and as a player, you got to adjust to that, right? If they're going to call it close, then you got to you got to be straight up and you can't you can't move and and you got to adjust your game to how the offici officials are officiating the game as well. So 18 fouls for the Titans, 19 fouls for the Indians. We still got 403 left to go here in the half. Austin Miller able to connect on that free throw. Second one on its way. That one is good as well. Back and forth we go. We are all tied up one more time. Colin White brings it up for Ottawa Glandorf. He's going to drive. Works against Miller. Head fake, and the shot goes down. White's kind of been struggling tonight. You know, but a guy like him, that scores all he's got to do a couple of times, see a ball go through the rim that's or go through the net. That's all he's got to do. Then he's going to score in bunches. Here you go. Left all alone. Colin White goes free down the lane for two more. And this is kind of those uh, live ball turnovers. Coach Triplett upset about something yeah, talking fine. to the officials. Clock's not moving. I think that's what he's arguing about. This ain't the NBA. It should still be running. Dominic Lynch come back into the game with his two fouls. Gets it over to Miller. Miller now working through the double team. Ended up in the air one more time. Not a good pass. Ottawa Glendorf picks it off. Good pass to Schrader. Schrader off the glass for two. Grant Schrader now with four. Long pass to Miller. As Miller fights through some contact, wow. they're going to say no on the floor. Even so, that doesn't count. Still pretty oh. impressive as he's oh. able to get through that and got that shot up. That is great body control. I know the foul was called right there, but look at this. Somebody draped on him, and he goes through another guy, finishes on the way down. That is great body control. That's heck of an athlete right there. It's something I could never do. <laughs> one and one still for Shawnee. Miller's free throw is good. My by count, they got Shawnee five for eight from the foul line. And the Titans are four of seven, so pretty even. And just like the score is pretty close, 33-28 Titans. Austin Miller sends a second free throw. This one's no good. Rebounds ends up in the hands of Erford, who gives it off to White. Colin White having a tremendous junior year. Thought about the three-pointer, decides to drive instead. Goes baseline and elevates for the big jam. Let's get this and great job by Shawnee to not to sit back and admire that, right? Three, four passes. They caught back and made a layup. And I can see Coach McLaughlin, he's steaming over there because he kind of the Titans kind of celebrated a little bit, and Shawnee went right back and got a layup. Yeah, Colin White was excited with that one. Yes. It was late getting back on defense, led to a wide open layup, but Ottawa Glandorf with the answer. As the offenses are trying to pick up, Ottawa Glandorf now with the seven point lead. Three point shot by McBride. That oh, one wow. somehow stuck on the rim yeah. and fell down for three. They needed that one. This could have blown it open, but that gets him within four. Colin White, he's in takeover mode right now. Yeah. Another two for Colin. Kind of what I said. He just didn't see the ball go on the rim. Go through the net a few times, and he can score them in bunches. Oh, oh, that goes in. And Austin <laughs> Miller trying his best to keep his team in the game. Goes right at the Ottawa Glandorf defense, as you see on the Charles River instant replay. Goes through two different defenders, almost gets it to go down, but now he'll go to the free throw line. 
That is the 10th team foul on Ottawa Glandorf. So that was a shooting foul, so it was two no matter what. But any foul from here on out by the Titans, and Shawnee will be shooting two. So here's White getting by somebody and says, I'm going to put that one, get out. And he kind of, they kind of all jumped in and celebrated. And Shawnee, give them credit. They threw it ahead and got a basket. What a play by Colin White. Yes. Though. Absolutely. Last couple years, I mean, everybody knew he was going to be good coming in. But the last couple years, he's really turned it up. And just a tremendous, tremendous athletic play there. Schrader with the extra pass down the stack shoulder. He's going to drive, gets it off the glass. That one's going to go down, and he'll make a trip to the free throw line. You know, two drives by one from Shawnee, one for the Titans, both of them. Uh, 12 for Shawnee, 21 for the Titans. Both guys, look how this, they don't get ran off the ball right off the line. It's Hunter Stexter, he did a heck of a job controlling his body, handled the bump and got to the rim, just like um, Austin Miller did on the previous play. Both of them got rewarded by getting fouled and getting to the foul line. The difference was Stexterty made his, and uh, Miller just missed his on the shot attempt. Stexterty can't convert on the end one. Loose ball ends up into the hands of the Titans. A good Mag. put bad by Brad Mag. That is his first two of the night. Yeah, good job by Brad to be right there in the right spot, and he knew what to do that he caught it, put it right in. Good job by number 10, Brad Mag. Austin Miller now. The Indians are looking to answer. Tries to go baseline, gets cut off, spins through some defense. What a Drops pass. it down to Berkey. He can't get it to go down. And the Titans looking to extend this lead, see if they can't get it to double digits. Down low, Schrader for two. And just like that, you blink, and Ottawa Glandorf is up 11. We got some contact down low, going to say defensive foul, as this one is going to go I believe that was Grant Schrader down there. Yes, I believe. Oh, no, they – I think they're calling on uh, David Westrick. I thought I'd seen 32 go up. Unfortunately, they don't see on this score, but they don't put up who the foul is. Yeah, 32, David Westrick. His first. I don't know if he pushed on the way, but first one's up and good for the Indians. Brady Gabus able to make his first points of the night. Zach Noonan checks in for the first time tonight. Davis' second shot is good. So the Indians now find themselves down nine, under a minute left to go, trying to get a defensive stop. This was a 17-16 Shawnee advantage at the end of one. And now with under 40 seconds left to go, Ottawa Glendorf on top, 45-36. The offenses have really gotten after it here in the second quarter. See Colin White just waiting as out of Glendorf is going to be content to take the last shot here of the half. Coach McLaughlin giving instructions, giving the offense set. Thirteen seconds left to go. Steck shoulder going to run down to the bottom corner block. Wide open with Steck shoulder oh. going to get blocked from behind by Noonan. Noonan, and he's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Good slip by Hunter Stexley right here. They're double screen. Everybody goes for Kate, for Erford there, and uh, Hunter Stexley slips it. And yeah, Stexley might have got a little bit wide on that. Yeah. And that's what led to Noonan being able to come over. But either way, Hunter Stexley going to go to the free throw line and try to get his team some points. Able to connect on the first. As you see Coach Triplett bringing some substitutions, not wanting anybody to get some fouls here at the end of the first half as both teams have some players in foul trouble. And Ryan Ross gets in. Steck Schulte able to connect. McBride gets it into Miller with four seconds left to go. They got to hurry. Miller behind the back. And somehow was able to get off a shot, uh, a decent look at it, but he can't connect. And a fast-paced, high-scoring first half has come to an end as Ottawa Glandorf goes to the locker room on top. They lead Shawnee 47-36. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the second half on WOSN. Welcome back to the Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium here in Ottawa Glandorf High School. As halftime is just about over as the Ottawa Glandorf the Titans are on top of the Shawnee Indians, 47-36. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Scott Mack. And, Scott, 
It was really the story of two different quarters. In that first quarter, Shawnee did a, a really good job forcing some turnovers, turning some defense into offense, and came out ahead 17-16 after one. But in the second quarter, Colin White got loose and really started getting things going for the Titans. Well, and also uh, Shawnee had 13 turnovers for the half, and they've given up eight offensive rebounds. So they got to stop turning the ball over, and somehow, some way, the Titans have been relentless attacking the glass on the offensive end. They got to do a better job boxing out, and they got to stop turning the ball over. It leads to easy baskets for the Titans. The Indians will begin with the basketball here in the third. We'll see what kind of adjustments they have made. Freiberger up near midcourt. Drops it off to Austin Miller, who had a nice first half. He's guarded by Theo Mag. Entry pass to Berkey. Just Berkey a nice gets pass. that one in over White. You know, that's just a good pass that Miller threw it to the side to allow Berkey to go get it. He got it, turned, spun. You know, if he'd have threw it right to him, White was right on his back. He wouldn't have been able to score, but what a heck of a pass by Miller to lead him to a spot where he can catch it and score. That, that's You don't teach that. Nice right. pass. And Otto Landorf comes down with the answer as Grant Schrader is able to get two. It's a good way to beat a double team. When somebody double teams, there's got to be a guy open, and the Titans did a good job of finding the guy that who was there doubling off of. Dominic Lynch comes over, sets the screen for Miller. Miller tries to split the double team with high off the glass with the right hand. That one's no good, goes out of bounds, and it'll go back to the Titans. I think they might get this one changed because here comes the official walking in, and I think we're going to hear a whistle, and they're, oh, they're going to say that way. So the officials got together just to yep. confirm the call. They say it is Ottawa Glendorf basketball. As they are on top, 11. Hunter Steck Schulte brings it up, gets it over to White. Now it's going to be Steck Schulte going through the lane with the right hand off the glass for two. Yeah. He, he's done a good job tonight of getting into the lane. The Indians got to do a better job of containing him from getting straight down drive to the basket. Nice block by White. Steck Schulte able to track down the block, gets it up to White. White, ball fake, and then goes up, and he gets it in for two. The Indians come down quickly, but Austin Miller not able to connect on the three. Hunter Steckschulte moves it up ahead. Here's Mag, and Mag gets it to go down for two. As the Ottawa Glandorf offense is picking up right where they left off. Yeah, and this is kind of turning into that with the Titans going up and down like the Indians. And a good timeout by the, the Shawnee coaching staff because I don't think they want to get in a, a fast break game with the Titans. The Titans will run them out of this gym. So the Shawnee Indians take a Metzger financial timeout. We'll step aside as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back tonight's scoreboard is presented by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alt Seamless Spouting. You know, let me kind of talk about, you know, the Titans. I, don't get me wrong, the Indians do a good job of getting up and down the floor, but I don't think that's the game that they can compete with the Titans. The Titans will, you know, they, they're deep and they like to do that a lot more than the Indians. So I think they got to pick and choose when they run. As this one goes off the rim, ends up out of bounds. So it'll go back to the Indians. And this is what they need. They got to get a yeah. couple of stops, but they have to be able to come down on the offensive end and take advantage of right. it. Right, and do what they do. They do a lot of screening and slipping and penetrating and getting like, just like that, a little slip down the lane and then they either kick it to a shooter Colin White not happy with that call, but he's going to pick up the foul. That will be, yeah. I believe, the third on Colin. No, actually, second. it'll be the second. Excuse me. No, and they no, whistled on Underbrink, on Underbrink. So that'd be his third. So right number of fouls, wrong person. Yeah, you'll get it. <laughs> Levi Underbrink <laughs> picks up the personal. You see Beckett Berkey able to connect on his first free throw. David Westrick checks in for Hunter or for our. Levi Underbrink. Underbrink's got himself a couple tough fouls here tonight. He's just kind of been the wrong guy at the wrong spot. Becky Berkey connects as he now has 12 on the night. 55-42. Hunter Steckshold, gets it up over to Colin White. He gets it right down to Theo Mag. He goes right into Berkey as Berkey didn't have very good footing that time. Ended up on the ground. Good basketball yeah. play there. No foul. And Theo Mag able to get two. He kind of got a charge on that earlier, 
in, in the game, and they didn't give it to him this time. Turnover by the Indians, picked up by White. Going to lob it down low. Nice block Erford by Noonan. Has that one oh, no, rejected. Lynch, excuse me. Dominic Lynch down in the corner, being guarded by White. Dom gets it over to Berkey. He's going to go baseline. Did a nice job of adjusting to get around Erford, but can't get that one to go down. As Lynch was trying to fight through a screen, ended up on the ground, but was able to recover to help Berkey with the box out. Erford just can't get one to fall tonight. McBride redirected, can't get that one to go down. And right now, both offenses just not able to finish at the rim. White, he's going to try to drive baseline. Drops it off to Erford. Erford has that one also rejected, and then Freiberger just takes it away. He's got such great hands. No one gives him credit for that. He, he, and, he's, and he's smart. He doesn't swat. He just kind of reaches in, takes it away. Yeah, he does such a great job. And what a play by Austin Miller. Yes. So he was able to come in, great body control, was able to get that one off the glass, and he got this down to a 13-point lead. And we've been kind of saying as he fought off the top there and, and he kind of bumped White off where he wanted to go, I mean, he, he did his work early. You know, he did the work, he bumped him, and Lynch finishes at the rim. I'm sorry for cutting you off, but I was just impressive because he did his work on the defensive end early. He bumped him off, got him out of the lane, and then he went over top and fought and got the ball. Last couple of offensive possessions. The Titans have come up empty, so they go right back to the well. Dio Mag underneath. He goes strong, gets the two, and then they get the turnover. Here's Colin White. He has that one uh, poked away as there was a lot of contact by Dominic Lynch. And he will pick up the foul. And I believe that that is going to be foul number three on Dominic Lynch. Uh, I think they might have called that one on Freiberger, I think. I think, yeah, Freiberger, that gives him his fourth. So Toby Freiberger is going to pick up his fourth. Colin White connects on the first one, and he'll have to go to the bench. As they're going to right say the foul. Yeah, right yep. here. Yeah. Yeah. Dom came over to cut him off in front. Yeah. It looked like he got his hand in there, but it was actually Freiberger. Yeah. As Colin White connects on the second. 3-17 left to go here in the third. Keegan Wilson. Trying to work through some traffic, gets it over to Berkey. Back over to Wilson, and he gets it into the front court. Down into the corner. Miller gets cut off, and he does the wrap around as he got his hand behind Brad Mag's uh, head. He was able to get a little bit of a yeah. advantage that time, and he's going to get whistled for the foul. Kind of see, look, his off arm kind of pushes him and chucks him down. That's a good call by the officials. Good defense by Brad Mag as well. Austin Miller picked up his second foul. Colin White going to work down low. He's able to spin out of trouble and all alone finishes at the rim. Now out to a 17-point Ottawa Glandorf lead. Will McBride fights down low through contact. Can't get it to go, but he's going to make a trip to the free throw line. Ottawa Glandorf foul number 10. Brad Mag, Brad Mag, he's going to get whistled for his first foul. It's the team's second of the half. And Will McBride will make his second trip to the free throw line. First shot is good. Will McBride lines up his second shot on its way and good. As Brady... Excuse me, Brady Davis checks back into the game for Shawnee. 2.35 left to go here in the third. Shawnee still trying to clamp down on defense. Grant Schrader. Beads Colin White down low. He can't finish, but we're going to have a foul. On Davis down there. He, I think he, he did a pretty good job. Or is that on uh, Lynch? Nope. They are going to call it on Brady, Ga Brady Gavis. Yeah. It'll be his first. It's the team's third. And as Colin White makes a trip to the free throw line. It's it's almost the Indians have to pick their poison, right? they got to either put a bigger bigger, bigger guy on White, and then they then they go down inside with Mag. And if they put the bigger guy on Mag, then they bring White in there. So it's like it's kind of like 
it's either whoever you're going to put the big guy on is going to go outside and then our, our whoever you put the smaller guy is going to go right to the post and the Titans have done a good job of feeding the post good job by White get on the floor to get that one as shown just was not able to connect that one wins off went off of his hands here's White one more time on the drive throws that one down one handed for two more Shawnee up quickly Keegan Wilson has to get it off to McBride. McBride looking down low for Miller, gets it to him. Miller, guarded by Brad Mack, creates a little bit of space. That one's no good, That's and good the rebound defense. comes down to White. Good defense by Brad Mag. Grant Schrader finds Theo Mag, who goes up and under for two more. And we have an official timeout, time out. Yeah, I think, and it looks uh, like, as you take a look Miller. at the Charles River instant replay, Big throwdown dunk by Colin White, but it looks like maybe Austin Miller was shaken up on the play, so officials timeout to get him out of the game. As Otto Glandorf now has pushed this out to a 20-point lead. Wilson comes all the way down, but has that one sent back by Hunter Steckscholdy. A little bit of contact, though, so he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah. And Hunter did a good job, but he kind of bailed him down by swatting down, right? Watch this. He, he was on his hip. He is in good position. He jumped until when he slapped down. If he would have just went straight up, that would have been a tough shot by Keegan Wilson to make. Wilson's first shot rattles out. Number four, Dominic Lynch. He replaces McBride in the Shawnee lineup. Keegan, second shot up and good. Under 90 seconds left to go here in the quarter. Colin White brings it up for the Titans. As Brady Davis comes out to guard him. Drops it off the stick shoulder. White calling for it down low. But it's going to be Mag. He has that one knocked away by Dominic Lynch, but ends up touching the um, end line down there underneath the basket. So it'll end up staying with the Titans. Deck shoulder, he's going to drive. We've seen him do this a couple yes. times tonight and lays that one in for two more. Yeah, he's done a good job of attacking that paint. You are exactly right, Nate. And he, he and once he got in there, he's done a good job tonight in finishing. Nice, nice. pass yes. underneath, uh, just not able get it to, to go. finish. Yep. White looking for somewhere to go with the basketball. Ends up in the hands of Steck Schulte. Three-pointer in transition for the Titans as Hunter Steck Schulte is having a big second half. Yeah. And, and, you know, sometimes, like you said, you get a shooter, you see the ball go in the basket, and that thing becomes as big as the ocean, and you step up on that transition three, and you knock one down. That's now 15 points for Hunter Steckscholdy. Wilson looking for some room. Here comes the double team. Has to get rid of it. Ends up in the hands of Gabus. Nice job finding Berkey. As yeah. Berkey was cutting to the rim, Brady Davis got rid of it quickly. It was Beckett Berkey able to get two more. And Brad Mag did a tried to go get it. Just was a half step too late to get in there, and that led to a layup. He was the last man on defense, and he might need a break. He looks pretty exhausted over there in the corner. Final five seconds. Colin White up top. Help was coming. Decides to pull it down. Drops it off, and that one's going to be no good. So the third quarter comes to a close, and Ottawa Glandorf able to open their lead. They're on top, 73-51. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's instant replays are provided by Charles River and Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Take a look at the current state rankings in Division II. Defiance ranked number five. Division Three: Ottawa Glendorf, Liberty Benton, and Spencerville all ranked. Ottawa Glendorf, five, as we mentioned. Liberty Benton right behind them in six, and Spencerville at 17. And then quite a few down there in Division Four: Jackson Center at two, Crestview at four, uh, Rushi at five, Marion Local seven, Patrick Henry 10. And then on that far right, you see the Martin RPI, and that's new this year. Um, you know, Scott, that RPI is really coming into play this year. It's a whole new setup when it comes to tournament seating. Yeah, and it, what it is, it takes your strength of schedule, who your point, opponents beat and, and what their record is and how, you know, your wins and losses, and it puts it all together and it ranks you. You know, it, the Northwest District has kind of 
the guinea pigs this year, and they used it for seeding for tournament. And uh, eventually it's probably going to be all over the state. And, and it, what it is is for teams that don't see each other. Unfortunately, around here in Northwest Ohio, we, we, you know, with WSN and everything else, everybody knows everything about everybody. But, you know, some in Cleveland area and in some of those bigger metropolitan areas where they don't get to see each other, it kind of tries to make things easy and, and, and shake it out to know what teams are good. And it's just not just record. It's who you're playing and, and how many wins they get as well. And I think I think the big change that RPI will do if it ends up going statewide, as you see a three-pointer on its way, no good rebound out, comes down to Austin Miller, is I think you'll start seeing strength of schedule, especially non-conference, get a lot tougher. Teams yes. will start wanting to schedule uh, a lot differently moving forward with that yes. RPI. Right, because you're going to need to schedule tougher teams to get more wins. It's kind of no different than the uh, – college football right you want to schedule you want to get those games to get yourself exposure and get and get get higher rankings so the foul that time went against will mcbride as he was trying to reach in and take that basketball away steck Schulte drops it off to mag mag finishes at the or no he nope. does not as he went for the dunk it bounced out run out for shawnee as austin miller is able to finish for two Six thirty left to go in the game. Idaho Glendorf still with the twenty point lead, but Shawnee still fighting. White to Erford. Erford pull up jumper. That's good. It's like a big sigh of relief when you see that one go in. He's had a hard time putting the ball in the basket tonight. It's not because he hadn't got open looks or tried. It just it wasn't his night. And when he seen that one go in, I almost seen him take a big sigh of relief. He's like finally I made one. So Will McBride tried to drive as Colin White came almost out of nowhere to send that yeah. one out of bounds. Yeah, and you know, Cadence normally didn't have not had many nights like this. Normally he's putting a lot of them in the basket, and I <laughs> used to seeing these misses. Toby Freiberger pulls the ball out, going to direct the offense. Double team came over as McBride loses the basketball. Up ahead to White. White with the windmill dunk to put a tremendous thunderous finish on that shot. Austin Miller quickly comes down though. A nice circus shot of his own, able to hang, good body control. So you take a look at the Charles River instant replay and you just do not see yeah. this out of a lot of players his age. No you don't, it's great athleticism and he gets off the floor in a hurry. As you can see right here, right coming right at you, bang. Colin White, a highly touted prospect. Is had lots of interest all over Division I college basketball. Hunter Steck's shoulder got into the lane, but decides to kick this one out instead. Here's White working against Miller. He puts that one up for two. As Colin White is feeling it. That is now 28 as Ottawa Glandorf's on top, 81-58. And a lot of those shots in that first quarter, he was getting them same shots they just we're coming up a little short now. You know, like I said earlier in all this whole broadcast, once the scorer sees the ball goes in the net, they get they score in bunches, and he has scored in bunches tonight. Dom Lynch a little bit off, some miscommunication on that pass, ended up out of bounds. Zerfer drops it back off to White. Adam Glander works it around the perimeter. Schrader finds White down low. Over a couple of Shawnee defenders, no good, gets his own rebound. Steck Schulte lines up the three-point try. That one rattles in and out. Offensive rebound down to Erford. As the Titans continue to dominate the offensive boards, three-point shot, no good. Fight for the loose ball. Theo Mag comes up with it. Fourth opportunity, oh, man. and he can't finish at the rim. <laughs> nice pass down low to find Beckett Berkey for two more. Berkey's had a nice night. And is now yes. 14 points for him. Erford pulls up for two, and he gets that one to go. It looks like Ottawa Glandorf called a timeout as we're going to see some substitutions on both sides as the starters for both teams are going to be taken out. Yeah. And so it is going to be a Metzger financial timeout. Timeouts are brought to you tonight by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And Coach McLaughlin, he would be pretty happy with four of his starters in double figures. 
And as they get off the floor, that, that's a heck of a night. Oh, good job by Ryan Ross getting his hand in there. Aglando comes up oh. with another turnover, but Ross down low, steps out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover by the Titans. And we talked about Beckett Berkey. It was actually his 16th point of the night. He was tied with Austin Miller for the lead in points for the Indians. Keegan Wilson drops it off to Brady Gavis. Gets it over to Nick Pachon. Pachon connects with the three. And yeah, and he shot the ball well tonight, I think. He has. He's made some big shots yes, from behind the arc. And it, you know, he gets his feet set and gets his shoulders square. He knocks it down. Shawnee just didn't have the answer inside. The Titans hurt, hurt the Indians all night right there. Right, or Levi also gets a shot there. Levi on a break. On a break. It's his first basket of the night. As Pachon looks for someone to get rid of it too. Drops it off to Zach Noonan. Noonan gathers it in. <laughs> Pachon thought about pulling yeah, up for that three. Yeah, his eyes went right to the rim. <laughs> you could tell he's a shooter, and uh, every shot in the gym is for him. Like he does. That was impressive. But give him credit, he didn't pull. As Boston one, Barker will. gets rid of it to Pachon. He lets that long three-pointer go. That one's no good. As Ty Buckland came up with the rebound for the Titans. That's a good shot. Drive by Mag off the glass as Brad Mag gets that one to go. So Ottawa Glendorf obviously having a very successful season, 6-0 in the conference. A big showdown still looming on the schedule against Defiance. And the Western Buckeye League has proved to be a grinder. Yes. Um, once again, as you know, every night you, you have competitivity. Even in a game when you look at the score, people might think that, you know, oh, this was a blowout in Ottawa Glendorf. No, they had to work for this. Shawnee yes. came out, they took it right to him, had to lead after the first quarter. And it, it had been a grind for those middle two quarters. That offense, though, when you have Colin White and he can start feeling it, and then you get um, some help from other players as you see a big three-pointer that time by number 14, Ryan, Ryan Ross, as the gym goes He's crazy. Especially the student yeah, section yeah. goes crazy for Ross. Uh, he is He's a crowd favorite. He has been for several years, and, you know, when he makes one, they go nuts. You know, what we're talking about, you know, Ottawa Glendorf is still what lies ahead of them. You know, this was a tough game, and they're not going to have any easy ones. And that game against Defiance, though, that is going to be a big matchup <laughs> as Ross back-to-back oh. -back oh, three-pointers yeah. as it is getting loud in the Supreme yes, Court. Is. And Ross is uh, playing to the crowd, too, and he's looking at him go. He gets down there and wanted to get another one. He has a spot, and he's trying yes, to get to is. it. That's as good to see. We have, have another smile on his face. Another stoppage. We have some more substitutions coming into the game. Shawnee brings in number 14, Chase Beery. Number 42, Noah Williams. Number 30, Sage Ebling comes into the game, as does number 21, Caleb Miller. Caleb Miller, a sophomore. You know, and the cool part about that is the whole bench got up when he knocked that one down. They were probably happier than he was. That's cool. That's great to see. That's great team camaraderie and nice pass. Little floater in the lane is good. Connor Kitchen with two points. As right now, it doesn't seem like anybody on the Titans nah, can't score. Can't, you're right. That basket is big as the ocean right now. 32-point lead for the Titans. They are only five points away from the century mark. Williams works against Ross, drops it over to Faye. Ends up in the hands of Ebling. Ebling, he's going to drive with the left hand. Shawnee right now trying to look around, just trying to get something. As some of these guys don't yeah. see a lot of varsity minutes, come in, play hard. We're going to try to see if they can't show what they have, maybe earn a little bit more time on the floor. Yes, sir. And they deserve it, too, because they practice just as hard as everybody else. And Titans elect to not take a shot. That's so Ottawa Glendorf, they're going to defend home court, and they're going to come away with a big victory over the Shawnee Indians, 95-63. It has been uh, really not quite the ending we thought we might get after this one started, but Ottawa Glendorf really flexed their might 
They're about halfway through the second quarter and never took their foot off the gas. Fourth quarter's come to a close. We will step aside and we come back. We'll have tonight's Dolly Hustle Award winner. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back to Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium. I'm being joined by Theo Mag and Theo, congratulations, a big win tonight. What did the win mean to you guys tonight? Uh, it means a lot. Um, we got a big win here, WL win. Uh, we, gotta get, we got a big one next week, so we gotta get, gotta win this one to compare ourselves for next, next week. You know, after that first quarter, it was a really tough game. It was a one point game after one, 17-16. But in that second quarter, you guys seemed to make some adjustments, especially you uh, specifically underneath really getting those offensive boards. What kind of adjustments were you guys able to make to really kind of run away in that second quarter? Uh, we would, we would put, run our 55, which is our press, and we would press them and gave us some turnovers. And then they would feed me in the post and I would score. So it's so, <laughs> win-win. Yeah. So, you know, you, we talked about what you guys were able to do on the offensive board side of things. You know, you seem to always just be in the right place at the right time. You know, I know a lot of time, a lot of practice goes into that, but how good does it feel when all that work kind of pays off? It always seems to be right there for you and you can cash that stuff in. It feels amazing because you get extra free buckets. So it's you get your point stats up and win, win the game, big games. All right, well, we appreciate it. Congratulations. A big one next week against Defiance Loops. Still got one more tomorrow night to get through, but great game tonight. Congratulations. Right. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you. I'm being joined back by my broadcast partner, Scott Mag. We're going to take a look at tonight's Stolly Insurance Hustle Award. Check out the highlights of tonight's Stolly Hustle Award winner on the WOSN YouTube page from tonight's game. And we talked off air, and, you know, you heard it from him. That's why we brought Theo in here. You know, after some discussion, Theo was a very deserving uh, award winner tonight. Yeah, I think they had a hard time. We kind of mentioned it in a broadcast. If they put a smaller guy, they put Theo in the post in that second quarter, and Theo was getting seven, eight offensive rebounds and scoring inside. So then they had to make an adjustment. They put a bigger guy on Theo, then they put Colin White. So the Titans were able to put one guy in the post and had a mismatch all night, and, and it was very difficult for the Indians. And, and the Titans really controlled the paint, dominated the paint, and that's why they came out victorious tonight. And I really think in that second quarter when they really got after things down low and they really started feeding him more, and he was able to attack that offensive rebounds. And he, he came up with three or four big shots down there. That, that really made the difference. And once they ran away, you know, this Ottawa Glendorf Titan team is really hard to catch. Yeah, and, and they, they made a commitment to attack the paint. Hunter Stexter did a great job of getting in there tonight, made some easy baskets. Colin White got in there, and, and what they did also when they got in there, they made the extra pass to the open guy and scored a bunch of layups. Grant Strader had 10, he attacked the glass. All the Titans attacked the glass. They really, really attacked the paint from about halfway through that first quarter to the end of the game, and that's why they came up victorious tonight. So that is just gonna about wrap it up for us here at Ottawa Glendorf High School at the Supreme Court. The Titans come away with a big win over the Shawnee Indians, 95 to 63. For my broadcast partner, we would like to thank our entire crew, everybody out in the truck, our cameraman working behind the lens, doing a great job as always. One final time, the Titans come away victorious. Thanks for tuning in and have a great night, everybody.